The Express looks at the powerful Tory backbenchers who are making the Prime Minister's life difficult. When Rishi Sunak became Prime Minister he warned the Conservative Party it was time to unite or die. But three mutinous months on and he has spent a day rallying his troops once again with a team building a way there at his country retreat of Chequers. Determined to get on with delivering on his five key priorities, Mr Sunak is instead battling his own rebellious MPs on countless fronts. U-turns have become a theme of his fledgling premiership with high-profile climb-downs on housing and wind farms. It explains why he is reluctant to sack Nadim Zahawi, the Conservative Party chairman, following revelations about his tax affairs. Mr Sunak is sticking by the former Chancellor for now, as he has done with Dominic Raab and Suella Braverman over recent controversies. The perception is one of weakness, reinforcing Sir Keir Starmer's narrative that the Prime Minister is too timid to stand up to his backbenchers. But Mr Sunak's allies insist he is finding common ground and splitting the difference between rival groups. His priority until now has been to provide stability after the chaos under Liz Truss and Boris Johnson, so he is trying to avoid fights with his MPs. Some Tories have drawn parallels with John Major, Another Tory PM who faced constant backbench rebellions and was described as, in office, but not in power, in Mr Sunak's case there is one backbencher in particular who has more influence than anyone, his arch-nemesis Mr Johnson. And it just so happens that under fire Mr Zahawi is a Johnson loyalist, as is Ms Braverman, who was reappointed as Home Secretary by Mr Sunak after she broke the ministerial code. Mr Raab, the Justice Secretary, who is at the centre of multiple bullying allegations, held senior roles on